Hello and welcome to the Mega Revan channel. So we're finally going to have a look at this light. So the idea now is that I'm going to take this down and I suspect, I'm not so sure, but I suspect there might be a plug in this light. Now the idea is to replace this with a USB light because I don't see the point in really trying to find another one. Um, it probably cost a lot of money and a lot more than a USB light. Um, meaning a USB, having a USB cable along here, down here, to a power point here. So rather ironically I need a light to look at a light because I can't actually see what I'm doing in here. So if we have a look a bit closer, I can try to get some shadow on there. That to me looks like a plug. So if that's a plug that can make life a lot easier for me because I can just take that out and put it out of the way. So we'll see if we can get it unplugged. I can't do that with uh, a camera and a, a phone in my hand. So I don't know if this is normal, but I've just noticed that uh, there's tape holding it all, all the way around the edge. So that's been botched, hasn't it? Let's face it, there's tape over the top. Of course, when it's stuck to the, the, the ceiling of the cab, even though it's not actually fixed to the ceiling, it's fixed this, the, these two points here. Um, and then hanging, half hanging from the ceiling. You can't actually see very well behind it because it's so dark. But having taken the thing off, off the roof, off the ceiling, sorry, then you see exactly what's there. Ooh, that's hurt my fingers, it really has. Um, so, it is a plug. So, here we go. Let me just move my phone so we can see. So there we've got, let's move it up there, there we go, can see it a bit better now, there we go. So there's the plug, it took a bit of pulling to get it out. I didn't want to pull too hard because this thing here is very flimsy. Let's take it outside so we can see it in the daylight. And you see there's not really much to it and the, the plastic is so thin, it's unbelievably thin. I didn't think it was that thin because you've got this bit of... I'm point the camera in the right place, first of all. You've got this bit of rubber all around the edge, which you, you just you can't see when you're in the cab. Especially if you've got the light on, because the light's at the bottom. So I don't know what to do with that. Um, the light still works in it, I know that much. Um, it's just that I've taken it off because this is broken. I mean, I think I could probably forward it to someone who needs it, if they've got the same van as me. Um, if they want the genuine article, but it's going to take a bit of repairing along there. But uh, I think the best the best way for me to go is for the USB light. Um, if we look up here, you've got a flat surface to put a magnet on. So we've got some strange wiring. Well, for me it's strange because so I don't know anything about wiring, but what looks like an earth that goes to... Um, well, I don't know whether it's an earth actually. It just seems a bit stra a strange place to have an earth on a plastic roof. Um, so it's a separate cable. And then we've got a red and a black and a very thin cable that go into this switch thing. I'm trying my best to light it up with my phone because obviously there's no light on my DJI Osmo super camera. So yeah we've got two a black and a red and a very thin white into there and another black and a red coming out of that plug that come to these connectors and I don't know what they are. So we shall learn what they are as we go along I suppose. So next thing will be to well talk that out of the way for the minute until I can I can talk to um, a friend who knows about these things and uh, buy USB light. Right, we can continue now with some Sunday afternoon tinkering because uh, I've taken the the light out completely, and uh, I just need to tidy up the wires and things. But uh, 
basically the next exercise is going to be replacing the light. So I bought this little pack here from the famous site that everybody knows where to get all this sort of thing from online. So these are LED lights. And there's two of them. I thought it was just one actually when I ordered it, but there you go, it's the same one. Um, and I was thinking I could have one in the cab, one in the back, behind the back door. So they light up quite well. I don't think you can see that or not in broad daylight, but yeah, I think they'll be ideal. So as it's starting to rain, uh, I will show you, I'll bring the camera inside and show you what I plan to do. Right, so my jumble is here on the seat. Um, we've got the, the lights. So down here we have some various oddities. So um, I was looking for some, the little sticky cube things that you can fix ties to, plastic ties to. I can't find them, I bought them a long time ago. So I'm gonna have to use some uh, silver tape. That I'll have to do. So I'll use some small bits of that to attach the the various wires where they need to go for now uh, probably look a, a bit of a sight so the idea is to have I'll just unplug that I've got this old um, hub so the idea is to have a, the hub up here at the top and have a light plugged into it because actually I plan to put in a um, a Bluetooth speaker as well so I was thinking I might put that um, somewhere up there I was thinking actually putting it behind this you know all the wires are coming out now look um, and, and attaching it to that so that if I want to listen to some music I just put that down and uh, set my phone up and listen to some music and it doesn't really uh, obstruct my view at all so I could do that but that's in the future, that's another video. So yeah, that's what the hub's gonna be for. So there's a few possibilities of being able to plug it in. Um, so the main thing, this is something you've probably seen before in, in uh, one of the earlier videos. Um, it's uh, something I picked up uh, a couple of years ago now, and I've never really actually used it. So the idea is just to have this down here in what is the ashtray there's an ashtray fitment that goes in there but obviously i don't smoke so i don't really want that uh, so that will fit in there and on the other end you've got a cigarette lighter plug which uh, is actually plugged into an adapter from my other battery pack my old battery pack i need to take that off so i don't really want to leave that lying about everywhere so we've got on the cigarette lighter socket you've got some usb plugs Okay, so obviously that can go in the cigarette lighter just there and the wires can come down here behind the sun visor down this Metal frame cage what do you want to call it and plug in just here So it'd be quite neat. So to do that I bought I think it's a two meter I don't think that's two meters is it? two meter USB extension lead with a female plug on the end um, and what else uh, I've got some well I was thinking of using velcro to attach up, up there but uh, I think uh, I'll use cable ties but the velcro could always be in use for something else uh, like the bluetooth speaker for example and go up there so yeah, I'll get on with that and uh, I'm not going to film myself doing it because that's going to be a bit long but uh, I will do what I need to do and then I'll film it. So as the light begins to fade because uh, I started late in the day working on this and we're now heading towards evening and being autumn it's going to get dark soon. So we have the light here which is on charge via the hub and all of the gubbins for the old light is, is all nice and tidy now and out of the way. Um, 
I'm sort of thinking perhaps that I can use this to power um, a reversing camera on the back of the van, but that's that's a little way off now. I've got the camera, uh, and I'm hoping I'll be able to use it before my dash cam becomes a little bit too old. Um, but you know, someone's mentioned to me, uh, be careful of polarities and all this sort of thing. I don't, honestly, I don't know a thing about electricity, which is probably why I'm doing the easy way out and using USB. So hub and we got the extension lead for the USB cable so if it's a bit dark that's all taped up here attached to the cage down here plugged into the hub down here well it's a sort of hub I suppose so we've got hub on hub and normally when the engine's running that goes up to 14 volts so 12.4 is just uh, sitting here so that's your lot. So the idea then is to have my Bluetooth speaker attached to this so that I can fold it out of the way. I think it will just about fit behind there. And there's three slots there on the hub to plug it in so it could be on constant charge and I won't have to keep uh, fiddling around with it. And the other advantage as well is that if I stick it here I can put it up there and you can't see it. Uh, but yeah, so should we try the light out? I'll, I'll give it another try later on when it's dark, but there we go. Not too bad. So I suppose all that's left to do now is to take the other one and put that in the back. But I can do that another time as well. Um, but it will be interesting to see how much it lights up. So in fact, I'll do it. Uh, and then later on when it's nice and dark, I shall come out and show you if it lights up everything effectively. So it's not totally night time yet, it's uh, sort of dusk, but it's a bit dark to film. Uh, but the the light appears to work okay, um, and I'm quite happy with that. So I've decided to put one in the back as well. Let me just have a quick look. And that seems to work fine too. Um, excuse the mess. Uh, it's empty, but there's a bit of mess in there. So if you pop that around there, you can see it's there in the corner. And I can just put my hand around here and switch it on and off just by tapping the light. So thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. See you in the video. Bye. Support Mega Red Van Hill. Hill.